another round. I don't remember prescribing a night out at Jake's to help you recover. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. I swear, this is my first night out since the accident. I swear. Well, well, then I better stick around just in case you need medical assistance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey. Oh, hey, you're back. Well, I want to give my brother a little time to hang out with Olivia. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? What? No. No, not at all. I didn't stop to eat, just like you said. I came straight to room 581. Ordered a nice bottle of red that'll keep you all kinds of warm inside. And porterhouse steaks, medium rare. The only thing missing from this room is you. So don't keep me waiting. Stay could get cold. Excuse me. Uh, could you please call my husband's room, Dr. Patrick Drake, and let him know that I'm here? You're Dr. Scorpio Drake, right? Dr. Drake has been moved to room 581. He's expecting you. Oh. Okay, thank you. to be. Right. You're not mad because you told me you wanted to leave the forest, are you? Maybe for you guys to fight about it. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not mad. <sighs> uh, look, Michael, Lulu, uh, you found out what happened to you. We were talking about the attack on Abby, and I mentioned how upset you got, and she just, she put it together. friend when I woke up from the coma. She talked to me like a real person. She brought me real food, good music. I promise you she won't tell a soul. I know I trust her. And besides my my therapist and I told me when I when I stop keeping it a secret and I open up about what happened, it'll uh, it'll help me move on. All I want for you, Michael, more than anything. Steve, can I talk to you as a friend instead of a professional? I would love that. I am really pissed off at my doctor right now. Mm. What did that idiot do? Well, he told me that I couldn't lift anything up that was heavy. Now, have you ever been in actual physical proximity to an authentic Italian pasta pot? I'm guessing heavy. It's like a freaking anvil. Now, the problem is, I've been running my mouth all week about all the fancy cooking I'm going to do for this uh, certain man. Well, do you think it would help if I offered to come over and do all the heavy lifting for you? And then you can invite this certain man over? I think I just did. Let's get talking about it. All right. I swear, Aiden has the sweetest nature. Um, excuse me. You know that toy pony that you got him? Well, happens to be Jake's favorite toy. He carries it around with him everywhere. And Aiden, he doesn't even care. <laughs> I think he gets his generosity from you. I want to take the boys someplace special for Valentine's Day. I was hoping you can come with us. Give me fear. 
perfect timing. Mm. Wine is breathing. it's possible that that day that first day when we met on the docks and you annoyed me so much I didn't that annoy we you just stood on me that we were meant to meet on that exact day and that no matter what happened we were going to end up together against all odds that's because you make me believe in fate i can't believe i finally get to marry you ah. <laughs> here in port charles where i never thought i would come back again mm. And you know what? Mm -hmm. You're not going to regret it because I am going to do everything in my power to make you happy. And I'm going to love you. This is a catastrophe of epic proportions. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. We're just going to get a new dress. No, you won't need a dress. You'll need scuba gear. The Archer Pavilion is underwater. I'm telling you, I didn't cut him. Brenda's fire sprinkler is going off at the Archer Pavilion. I remember when I had to talk to the shrink. You saw a therapist? Yeah, I shot and killed someone uh, on the job, and they make you do a psych evaluation. Did it do any good? Yeah, I was surprised how much it helped. I, I really didn't think I had a lot of issues with what happened, but it turns out I had some stuff to work through. And my therapist seemed as okay. It doesn't push. It's easy to confide in somebody who isn't invested in me or what happened to me. And the people that love me seem to just jump in and no offense, but blame themselves. It obviously wasn't their fault. Franco's the reason that I got raped. Franco sent Carter after you to get to Jason. Where is uh, Franco now? Is there any leads on him? Look, Michael, don't even think about it. Franco is... No, Franco is the reason that I got raped. I need to make him pay. 